This is the Jonathan Brandmeier Radio Showground. Look at that fucking bullshit. Say what? Call Tommy now. Show Come on. 9472. Nice read. Johnny B, man. He's holding like a big dog. Say what? It's Brandmeier, right? Brandmeier, give me a little bit of volume on this. One eight hundred Showgram. So much stuff to give away. So little time. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Damn it, that's what we're going to have. One eight eight eight. Fax me JB. Toll free. Eight eight eight. Fax me JB. Toll free. When you see reviewers, and I always uh, love this a particular uh, uh, particular uh, uh, search for the newspapers to find reviews of movies that you don't know for sure if they're going to be any good until you see the reviewer. With giant, bold headlines like this one for Rob Schneider as uh, Deuce Bigelow. Deuce Bigelow. Male, Male gigolo. gigolo. Rob Schneider is, uh, this is the big uh, page in the New York Times today. The New York Times today, one full page. Rob Schneider is Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. He's not very good looking, but when the lights go out, he's still not very good looking. <laughs> Okay, and then they have one reviewer quote. Now, usually, you know, folks, if you've seen the full page ads in any newspaper, usually they have, you know, 10, 15, 20 quotes. And uh, usually it starts off with the most prestigious critics first, and then it works its way down, too. This one has one quote in the entire page, and it's the biggest quote I've ever seen. Insanely funny. Insanely funny. Says Mose Persico. <laughs> See what I mean? CFCF TV Montreal. Okay? <laughs> it's out of the country. Right. right. So it's not even in the United States. So I'm looking at the review. I go, okay, wait a minute. All right. Let's find this guy to find out what it is that he thinks about Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. I mean, everyone's got an opinion, but it just seems to me there's something going on because he's the only one quoted in a New York Times ad. Insanely funny, says Mosey Persico, <laughs> CFCF TV, Montreal. And by the way, that's also another dead giveaway, folks, when you're looking for uh, movies. If you see the critic, the, cri the, uh, the, the phrase, the quote, you know, really big, look at the very fine print of who said it. And you will always see something like Mosey Persico. Because there's a small number of critics that get flown out. I mean, people from, uh, like there's a guy named Paul Wencoast, people from small TV stations and radio stations, and they're the same group that the studio flies out to see the movie, knowing that these guys, in return for the trip and a good time, will say something quotable in a positive way for that movie. Absolutely. It's a big deal. And, and, and you can see, once you learn their names, I mean, it's, you know, you look at the ad, you know instantly if the movie is garbage or not. <laughs> you know, you, that, that's a big deal, by the way. That's a big controversy about, the, you know, the critics will, they'll say something, hey, Mose, so what do you think? Of this I don't know. I think anyone who uh, took that script is insanely funny. <laughs> okay, good. Can we use that as a quote? Insanely funny. Sure. Now, it's funny because you're right when you look at these names, but I'd never noticed Mose's name before. No, I never saw that either. So today, it really kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Let's go to... Uh, he can't hear... Oh, Nipsey, wait. He can't hear any of this, right? Absolutely not. Okay, good. Put him on. Mose Persico, movie reviewer in uh, at CF, CFTV in Montreal. All right. Mose, how are you, sir? Jonathan, how you doing? Mo well, you sound like a nice man. How, how the heck are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm kind of rather surprised, pleasantly, uh, albeit, for receiving uh, this uh, interesting phone call from you people. Well, I wanted to tell you why we're calling, Mose. We were Shoot. looking at a full-page ad in the uh, New York Times today uh -huh. for uh, Rob Snyder's new film, Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Wow, yeah. Okay, and it's a full-page, and their only thing... Mm -hmm. That's quoted is you. You're kidding me. Mose Persico My in, God. says insanely funny from CFCF TV Montreal. That's what you do there, uh, Mose? Well, Ma, that's correct. Mom will be proud. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. I saw the film, Jonathan. Uh, very funny film. Uh, it, uh, it's co executive produced by uh, Adam Sandler. We all know Adam. Sure. Who's having a great time. And it stars Rob Schneider as this lovable loser guy who cleans fish tanks for a living. <laughs> not, not your everyday Joe job. Lives in a rather warm tropical climate and uh, comes across one of his clients who happens to be a gigolo. 
played by Oded Fur. Does just... the name tell you anything, Jonathan? Um, what? I'm sorry, what? Oded, Oded Fur. Fur. Oh, yes, Oded Fur, yes. Uh, Oded Fur used yeah. to be the, the villain in the movie The Mummy. Yeah. Well, in this one, he plays the gigolo of all gigolos. You mm -hmm. know, cool, suave, debonair guy. Right. He asks uh, Deuce Bigelow, played by Schneider, to house sit and babysit his tropical fish while he's away on assignment mm -hmm. with his latest conquest, I guess. Well, you know, Deuce Bigelow ends up spending time at this dude's pad. He ends up trashing the joint. What does he do to replace what he's trashed? Doesn't ask for a loan. Decides to do what his other buddy's doing. Becomes a male escort. Yeah, interesting. And he ends up taking... Uh, uh, I don't think interesting <laughs> covers it, Johnny. I think perhaps insanely, insanely funny, funny is what you're yeah. looking for. It's insanely funny. Deuce Bigelow, Deuce Bigelow. Yeah. male gigolo. Now, Mose, uh, it, yeah. se it seems to me that you enjoyed the movie. And you know what? Here's the thing about comedy, too. You right. know, by the way, I have not seen the movie. Mm -hmm. I just found it fascinating that there was only one quote... And it was so large, it's, it, it was only you. You're the only quote given for Rob Schneider's new film. That just seems a little crazy, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. Uh, I found the movie funny. I, it's, it's lots of laughs. They, do, they take a lot of creative license in uh, making fun of some rather interesting topics and people that we don't normally see. And it's, it's funny. Schneider's a gifted comedian. There's a lot of Buster Keatonism to his role. Yeah. Uh, and that's not easy to pull off. And uh, you got to give him credit uh, for hooking up. Uh, the film was directed by Mike Mitchell. It's his first movie ever. And he does a nice job of uh, making people laugh. This is not. <laughs> I, this by is the not... way, Mose, for the record, I like you right now. <laughs> you seem like you like what you do. But it yeah. does, now, doesn't it seem insanely crazy <laughs> that you're the only quote on a film that's opening up this week. Doesn't it seem a little crazy? Well, maybe maybe it's the studio's uh, Christmas gift. Uh, no, no, no. Let's no go idea. back to the studio for a second, okay? Uh -huh. So the talk is sometimes when they can't get a film to be reviewed, uh, you know, favorably, what they'll do is they'll fly in guys like yourself and they'll set you guys up with a hotel and a restaurant and whatever else you need and they'll say, hey, you know, Mose, how are the, you know, do you like being in L.A.? How'd you no, like that's it? not true. You no, know, no, I'm uh, just saying, no. Yeah. At, at, did, did, did they take you on a junket or did they uh -huh. give you any free gifts or did they give you anything that would make you like it even more than you already liked it? Actually, they, they gave me five million dollars. All right. That. There yeah. you go. No, come are on. Are you kidding honest. me? No, this is what happens. We are, we are asked to give quotes if we like the movie or if we hate the movie. Obviously, we, we are asked an opinion as to what... And now, who, I can, who asked you for the opinion? Well, some studio people. Okay, so they'll call you up in, uh, at CF, uh, CFTV. Or, or, no, they don't necessarily call me up. Sometimes we volunteer quotes. I normally do. If I really find the movie funny, if I really find the movie interesting... I give them a quote because I want to be attached to the film. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want say. I don't wait a minute. So you didn't go on any, uh, you know, uh, you know, big junket from the studio. Any? Uh, it's not a big junket. These 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 press weekends, like you call. Okay, them, no wait a minute. Go, you know. Okay, well you did go on a press of weekend. Of course, of course. Oh, okay, the back. The interviews. Mose, yeah. I'm not saying you're some kind of uh, you know a scrupulous a scrupulous sub journalist. I'm shill. just. Saying, no, I'm not show. saying that you're a shill. <laughs> That's buzz. Okay, I'm saying this. I'm yeah. saying this. I want to find out what is Mose's world like. When you come to these things, what happens? For a weekend, they do what for you? Nothing but work. Now, cut it out now. Here's the story, Jonathan. Yes. Here we go. It's a five and a half hour, six hour flight to L.A. for me. Yeah. I board a plane, land in L.A. in the afternoon, have an hour and a half to settle in, followed by sometimes two to three screenings in a row. The following day on a Saturday, we do interviews. For the two or the three films that we okay, saw. Okay, but now for in this instance, is it Touchstone Pictures that did uh, Deuce Bigelow? That is correct. Okay, these are the people that put you up, yeah. fly you out, feed you, they force you to, to watch they, movies. They don't necessarily force you to put watch Deuce Bigelow, <laughs> Bigelow. They don't necessarily put us up. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of the the invites are uh, some of the costs and expenses are handled by my station. So it's not just a, a buyout, as you as you want to call it. Yeah, no, I'm not calling it. Mose, you know? I'm not saying that you're guilty of anything here. I'm just trying to find out the world that Mose Persico lives in. To it's get... me, and I love Deuce Bigelow, and everyone go see it because it's insanely funny. That's right. That's right. You, That's right. Yeah, you, know? Can I, you, you want more quotes? No. Wait, yeah, wait, wait a minute. It's hysterically <laughs> funny. It's insanely funny. Hold on. You back up. Back up. It's the comedy of the holiday season, Jonathan. Right, let me wait. <laughs> Let me have all the quotes in a row from Mose Persico. We'll put Do them it. all down. Go ahead. Do it. It's the 
comedy of the holiday season. Stop. It's hysterical. Stop. Take a breath between quotes, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Bre it's uh, hysterical. Quote number one. It's ahead. hysterical. Got hysterical. You will laugh so hard your stomach will cry. Okay. Got that. You will ache all over after this movie. You'll ache. Sides will split, Mose. <laughs> sides will split. That's a good one, Mose. Take it down. Side slapping comedy. <laughs> yeah, side slapping. I think it's splitting, but you want to go slapping. I'm with you. <laughs> you guys ever heard of our comedy festival here in Montreal? Oh, yeah. The Just for Laughs comedy yes, festival? Yes, of course we have. Okay, well, let me tell you. In this movie, Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. Yeah, right. Deuce Bigelow, <laughs> male gigolo. I got it. There's also a young comic, up and coming. His name is Eddie Griffin. Now this. See, yeah, why do I, like I know Eddie, Griff movie, Eddie Griffin's in this movie, right? John, yeah, Jonathan, let me tell you something. Yeah. Part of the good thing about this movie is that not only is Rob Schneider funny, along with his, with his sidekicks, the female characters in this film are quite funny as well. He wrote some nice, juicy... He also co-wrote the film. He wrote some nice, Judy and, juicy and meaty roles for, for the women in this film. Arija Barakis plays Kate. She's, she's a wonderful character. I need some more quotes. You love this movie. I need They're some more quotes. They're all funny. Everyone is funny in this movie. <laughs> is that what you guys? Uh, you, what, what, what are you doing? Are you talking to somebody else back there? I'm talking to you. Oh, I heard somebody. I heard the phone ring, then no. I heard you talking to somebody. Well, well, we have an office here. You know, things okay. are cooking here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? Canada? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Rob Schneider, we got a lot of quotes on you, but I'm going to tell you. You tell your mother. You have a mother? You said you have a mother. Your mother will be crying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, I don't know. She could be passed away. How do I know? No, no. She's here. She's here. Okay. She's alive and kicking. Mrs. Just Persico. like Deuce Bigelow, alive and kicking. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the box. Hold Stop on, it. we got another quote from run, Mose. Run to go. see it. Run, run to see it. To see Don't it. walk. Run. Hey, Mose, when yeah. you when you give call in to these people at Touchstone, and when they call you, whatever ends up right. happening, okay, after they, right. you know, buy you out. Mm -hmm. um, they don't buy you. I, I, I heard that. Jonathan. I just thought I'd slip it in, see if it got by you. All right, hey, Mose, Mose. I should have taken Howard Stern's call. Hey, Mose, listen to me, yeah. okay? Listen carefully. Now. If in fact, when you when they call you and ask, do you go down a list well, like you just, just did? Let me ask you something. Why yeah. I, let me ask you guys something. Yeah. Why do you people continue to harp on this story, which is no story? These are press junkets designed to scratch one back while the other gets scratched okay. as well. Listen to me carefully. It has a Mose, dual purpose. Mose, you yes, have sir. read me completely wrong. I'm not saying you did anything. I'm trying. I didn't to do anything. I know you I didn't. Get paid I, for ju this, I just said you didn't do anything. Jonathan, they pay me well. I know. I'm, I'm trying to find out right. what happened. Happens when this? How does? Here's the deal. It's the movie. movie how does this insanely funny quote get in there from Mose Persico in Montreal? How does it happen? Now, when they call you after you know the what? junk and all that stuff, you say you pay for some, they pay for some. Who cares? I don't care. Right. What I want to know is then they say to you, Mose, I'm just asking you. You tell me if this is right. Mose, give us some quotes that you think about the movie, and then they listen to you talk, and then they write them down, or you just a lot fast, Deuce Bigelow. That's Go what I thought. It. Yeah, you yeah. just tell you just start talking to them, and they write down what they like. No, of course not. Of course not. What do you do? Then? We, we we submit them in writing, and right. uh, you know after much reflection, which would be like five minutes, right? And uh, you know we submit them, and uh, they use them. Yeah. And they never never alter the words. They uh, they basically print what I write and what I give them. When you gave them the quote, insanely funny, that was all you said? That was, was it? me, baby. Or was that, was that, that was me. Sentence, was that in sentence form? That was me, baby. That was no studio fabrication. Yeah, insanely funny. Well, you should be proud. Mrs. Persico should be proud. You're the only uh, one quoted on that movie, well, pal. It, 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 well, why are you the only one, Jose? Well, what happened maybe, to the other guys? Uh, the other guys are probably going to be in Saturday's paper. Uh, yeah, maybe, they're saying? Saying, maybe they're saving Ebert for Saturday or something like well, that. Well, of course. So Ebert will be there. Yeah, you don't Tell know. Tell you what, Jonathan. Make a, make a deal with me. Yeah. After this weekend's papers come out, okay. and you see the multitude of other critics associated with the film, yeah. you're going to call me back? Okay, Mose, I'm going to call you back, and I'm going to let you know what the other critics say. Well, you'll okay. know that, but I will... Uh, no, no, I won't know that, because the Times is a tough paper to, to get here in Montreal, because it's picked up so quickly. By okay, we'll here. make a note. Hold on, Mose. Make a note on, uh, on make Monday. Make a note there. Who's on, your side buddy there? On Monday, right here, Nipsey. Nipsey, is that his name? I'm your side buddy? Yeah. All right. Hey, Nipsey, listen to me carefully. <laughs> yeah. Nipsey, Nipsey. Uh, no, no. He's insanely funny also. Is he? Hey, listen to me there, yeah. Mose. Okay. On Monday, this? we're going to call you back. We're going to let you know. We're going to read some of the other quotes. We'll do it together. Can I ask you one other question? Sure. You see the Green Mile? Love the Green Mile. Let me hear a quote on that. The Green Mile could be uh, Tom Hanks' third Oscar. Oh, that's, you know, that's a great quote. Yeah. Would that be insanely funny? Yeah. And no, the Green Mile is not insanely funny. Insanely it's, what? It's, it's heartwarming. Heartwarming? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, can I, I read... something stronger than that. Can I read Variety's uh, review to you of... Uh, Go ahead. Green Mile? 
Uh, no, 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 of uh, Deuce Bigelow. Uh, yeah, for Mayo sure. Deuce Well, who Bigelow. did it? Who did it? Uh, the guy's name is uh, Robert Kohler. Oh, yeah, good guy. Uh, what in an earlier era could have been a very wry, smart, sexy comedy about an out-of-step hero finding his way is instead strictly for boys under 16 who think the idea of a guy screaming in public about his thin dick is funny. That wasn't in the movie. That's what it says here. Nah. Deuce Bigelow doubly... By, by the way, let me show you his quote in Variety as of yesterday. Deuce Bigelow doubly unfunny. Oh, wow. That's the quote. I'm just telling you. You must no, no. Everyone's entitled to a, an opinion. That, I respect his opinion. That is exactly right, Mose. If yeah. you think it's funny, it's funny. If he thinks it sucks, exactly. it sucks. He could have been. He could have been expecting something else. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I go and see a Rob Schneider film, it's not uh, brain uh, surgery. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go back You're to a couple in? of the films. Hold on a sec. You're right. I agree with you. Whatever you think is funny, insanely funny, is insanely funny. One quote. That's it. Yours is it. New York Times. Uh, Green Mile. You think it's another Academy Award for Tom Hanks? Yeah, well, possible. If the Denzel Washington. Uh, in, in the hurricane is absolutely fabulous as well. Okay, wait, is so, that going to be another? Absolutely fabulous for the hurricane. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous would be Mose Persico's quote. That's right. Okay, and then uh, the Jim Carrey Man on the Moon film. Did not see it yet. Okay, I'd like to hear your comment on that. Let's talk about that on Monday then. Sure. Okay, after all the reviews are in over the weekend, well, that's not coming out till the 22nd. But now don't forget, don't forget to call me after you see the other car. Uh, hey, Mose, my Don't. word is gold. I will call you on, and I want you to have a great because, weekend. Because, Jonathan, I know people in Chicago. Great. In L.A. Great. And we'll, we'll come after you. I promise you, Mose. Because it's insanely funny, Jonathan. <laughs> it's insanely funny. Hold on, Mose. Deuce Bigelow. Yeah. Male <laughs> Gigolo. Uh, Mose Persico of CFCF TV in Montreal claims Deuce Bigelow. Male Gigolo is insanely funny. You're listening to Jonathan Brandmeier.